everybody and welcome to this exercise video about the deep breath. What we are going to do is we are going to do the lying down exercise that I've already talked about in one of my tutorial videos. And we're starting by lying down, but we're gonna continue in sitting and standing also. Let's start lying down. Get yourself a nice and cozy place in your flat or wherever else you are, where you can lie down undisturbed and uh, follow the following steps. So we are lying down and we want to start with the first step. Maybe you have somewhere a book around, like I do here. It would be lovely for you to have a, a little bit heavier book because we are going to place that on our belly. And the first step we want to do here is we want to breathe into our belly, raising that book like this. You can also do that three times or five times or even more times, just as many times as you would need it to really get a grip on breathing into the belly, raising the belly up in the air, pulling away that book. If this is something that you can already do now, uh, you can continue to the second step there. You can also do as many repetitions as you like and as you need. The idea is we want to breathe into our belly, give some pressure down into the pelvis floor, Start breathing out, letting the solar plexum collapse, and in the end, letting also the belly floor collapse again, giving out all the air. What is this creating is that uh, we take control over how much breath flow there is and there should be. So controlling our breath is very important for the singing and we're doing it from the pelvis floor. It looks like this. Also here, you can use the book that you have, put it on your belly and you want to keep that book up, up, up as long as possible. Try to keep it as much up as possible, as long as you can hold it before you controlledly put it off again, back to the ground. I show you one more time, breathing in, giving pressure. You can do it with your lips, keeping a little bit extra pressure to regulate, but you can also do it just on an open mouth without any sounds, which would be a little bit more difficult. This is an amazing way to train that. That would be looking like that. That would be a little bit more advanced and an amazing way to practice demasculation here, but you don't have, have to do it. This third step now, and the last one in this position, would be to do the same as the second step, getting the belly up, keeping it up, but now this time on the breath flow, we would like to add a note that is just being following the breath flow. So not interrupting, it should be carried away by the breath, looking and sounding like this. <laughs> uh... 
You can do that also in different heights or lows of notes. So I'm going to do a really high one also and a really low one for you so you can hear and see how it should be working. Doing the different heights will show you that you need a different effort for higher or lower notes. So exercising this on different notes will be really much of a benefit for you. So lying down, uh, the really big thing for you is that you can feel the belly raise up, that you can put something on it. Now we are going to change into sitting position. In sitting position. You want to sit like really comfortably. I love to sit this way, but you don't have to sit this way. Still, it would be good if you're not sitting on your legs or something because you want to have your butt on the floor now. Because now in this round, you will be able to feel your pelvis floor very well on the ground in the way you start trying to control it to control the breath flow. So that's the big thing in the sitting position that you can feel the lower part of your body and how you support your breath flow. <clears throat> We're starting just the same way that we uh, started lying down. We're starting with nice deep breath. Now we want our belly to come out and we also start to feel a little bit of pressure going to the ground. Not much yet, but a little bit. So do it with me. I'm going to do it three times for you now. Okay, great. So if this is already working for you, you can do it more than three times. Again, you can do it just as many times as you need. Everybody needs a different amount of breathing there. Uh, if this is workable for you, we go on to the next step. Again, we want to breathe deep. We want to put some pressure in our pelvis floor and control the airflow that's coming out. Now we're at this point where you can really, really feel your pelvis floor when you're pressing it against the floor so you can practice this particular part in this position very well. Let's try that. If you're having difficulties with this, imagine the following. Here's your solar plexum. It is pushing down, pushing on your organs. And from the downside, there's your pelvis floor holding it back together. So imagine you're standing on, for example, um, one of those jumping things, trampolines, I guess it's called. And uh, your weight is pushing the trampoline down. So it's making like a curve like this. And that's what we want to do with the solar plexum. So we're pushing it down into the hip, giving some pressure from below, from the pelvis floor and keeping it. That's also why the belly is coming out, right? The organs have to go somewhere. So they get pushed from up and below. So going in the front. Now our muscle relation on the belly in front is keeping it together. And we have this little breathing belly. Let's try that with this again. We're breathing in, pushing down the solar plexum, holding it from below and now start breathing, letting the solar plexum collapse first, keeping the belly outside.
Now we are out of air and we want to loosen the belly too. This is working because your solar plexum pushed down is pulling your lung downwards and making it larger. So not that much air can come out as if we would let it collapse completely. That's the idea behind here and this is how we control our flow to the point where we release it all and go back into relaxation. Always please take the time between the different exercises to relax the body a little bit so you don't like put like this exercise and this exercise and this exercise and this one and then you're really tensed and cannot do anything at all anymore. Just always take a little moment to relax the body before you do another one. Let's do one last one before we proceed to the third step. <clears throat> Great. Now we're coming to the third step. We do the same thing as in the second step just putting and adding a note on our breath flow as you already saw when I was lying down. You will notice that your support is engaged now and that you're not only do the breath flow control but also supporting the note that you are singing. Again, please use it that you're sitting on the floor and you can really, really feel the pelvis floor and how it should be working. I'm doing a high one and a low one now again for you and then we going to the third position, standing up. Let's go into the stand up position. So now we are in standing position. What we're gonna start with again, we're gonna do step one, this the breathing, once more. Now we are in standing position. What we are now going to do is again, we're gonna do step one, just the breathing, step two, controlled airflow, step three, putting a note on it and then we're also going to put a fourth step where we want to engage our lead because this way you're going to have it all together all the three big things you have the support you have the breath flow and the lead so in this exercise in the end you can really do everything together in a simple manner so you can experience how it should feel if this is all working well great let's start we begin now Deep breathing. While you breathe, you can check also your posture, get a little bit straight and aligned. We don't want to stand like this or like this or anything. We want to stand on both feet. Knees are unlocked. Hip is movable, just as everything else. Deep breath. And the last one. Fabulous. Here again, if you have troubles breathing, if you have trouble breathing into the belly, uh, all you can do is put your hands on your belly and imagine how your belly is pushing your hands to the outside. Breathe into your hands. Here you also can feel the pelvis floor, you will feel it in the beginning in front here 
stretching and then after a while it is also going to open in the buttocks. The second step, we want to breathe again, we want to hold the breath flow, have control of the breath flow. For you to show you better, I am going to stand sideways now so you can see the movement of my body. I'm breathing in. Once more. And a last one. Good. Let's proceed to step three, where we add a note. I'm going to stand frontal to you again. If you need to see the movement, you can just go a few seconds back, check it out as long as you need it. Starting with the middle tone again. The high note. the low note. Uh... Great. Practice that at as many times as you need it. At practice that as many times as you need it, as I said before. Great. Now let's come to the last part where we want to include our lead. What I'm going to do for this basically is I am going back to this uh, little kid voice and I'm going to sing the notes with this twangy color. This is going to help you to keep it in front of here. What you also can do is uh, hum the note, then you really want to have this tickling feeling in the lips or and also a little bit of vibration here in the nose and the cavity so you, you really use that. I'm going to show you both so, uh, both sounds. Uh, I'm starting with the little kid sound. What you are going to notice, it's much, much easier now to control the breath flow if your lead is effectively here. And uh, this is also what you're looking for for singing. Later, of course, you will not always sing with so much twang. I'm going to do that in a different lesson where I also show you how to proceed to a normal voice from there. Great. I am going to do the high one humming now. By the humming, I would like you to know we don't want to hum like this back in the throat, but we want to go really much in front and then it's sounding like this. Let's try that really with the support and everything else. So the low one, I'm gonna do this one again with a toddler voice because I think it's a little bit more complicated than the humming. You can use both. Both is very efficient to get a feeling also for the lead in playing together with the breath flow and the support. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
okay, great. Please take your time for every step. We don't want you to rush through it, having mistakes in it that you later have to work out again. Check every single step, see that you can do it fully. Maybe ask your vocal teacher if you have some problems with it or leave a comic. Uh, <laughs> or leave a comment if there is something you didn't understand or if you want to tell me how well this worked for you. I would be very curious to hear about that. And I'm going to see you in the next lesson. Bye.